We've known for some time that high concentrations of carbon dioxide in seawater can cause fish to become intoxicated. They can lose their senses. They don't know where they are. They don't know where their home is, or they don't even know where their predators are. This phenomenon is called hypercapnia. And we've discovered that because of the carbon dioxide pollution that ends up in the ocean each year, fish and other marine species are going to experience hypercapnia much earlier and with more damaging effects than anyone ever predicted. We wanted to predict future carbon dioxide levels in the ocean to understand the impact on fish and other species. To do this, we needed to understand the natural levels of carbon dioxide variability in the ocean. And that means the natural peaks and troughs within an annual cycle of CO2. We devised a method to capture this globally for the first time, allowing us to look into the future levels of carbon dioxide in the ocean. And the results, quite frankly, were staggering. The chemical changes we will cause will amplify the natural variability we see in today's ocean by up to 10 times in the year 2100. Compare the blue line here, which represents the position today, with the line that represents the combined effects of natural variation and the effects of man-made emissions. This will likely have massive implications for global fisheries and marine ecosystems across the planet.